Okay, so here we go. And story time. It was a little after midnight when her phone started buzzing on the night table next to her. She was propped up in bed typing furiously on her laptop with Nadia snoring softly next to her. She was so much in the zone that the sound startled her. Fingering the phone, she saw that the call was from an international number. Sliding the phone icon to answer, she quietly answered the line. Barney Stetson, came a booming voice through the line. She recognized the voice as Mikhail. Hello, Mikhail. Do you have any idea what time it is? Marnie silently slid out of bed and made her way into her private office space. Does it really matter? You're up anyway, Mikhail slurred jovially into the phone. Great, he's drunk, Marnie thought to herself. Sighing, she responded, What can I do for you, Mikhail? That's what I love about you, Marnie. Always about the business, he chuckled. My call today is a matter of business. It would appear that you owe me some royalties. Marnie rolled her eyes. What the hell are you talking about? That little tape that I participated in has paid off rather nicely, wouldn't you say? I wouldn't say that it paid anything, Mikhail. For that matter, I've never received a single red cent for the tape itself. Oh, but it certainly paid off, no. Mikhail's voice got low. I want a piece of the action. And I'm not just talking about your... explicative, either. <laughs> what do you want, Mikhail? Well, let's see. You're a prominent screen and script writer now, and Nadia is poised to become an international star. It's my understanding that you also inherited a small fortune from your late husband, Mikhail Paz. God rest his soul. Let's cut to the chase, Mikhail. I'm in the middle of something. Oh, did I interrupt something between you and that sweet young lady of yours? No, Mikhail. Believe it or not, I'm working. Marnie was irritated now. Some of us weren't handed everything on a silver platter. Well, I think a fair amount of compensation for my outstanding performance in your little tape would be one million dollars, Mikhail asserted. Marnie couldn't contain her incredulous laugh. You're kidding, right? One million dollars? Well, I'll be damned if you're not the highest priced hooker of us all. You could always give me back your share in our resort. That all suffices well. Mikhail, Marnie said and then paused. Yes, dear. Fuck you. And she clicked off the line. Making her way back to the bedroom, she tiptoed back to the bed and slid underneath the sheets. Nadia slight, uh, shifted slightly. Nadia shifted slightly and turned to tuck in next to her. Marnie looked down at her peaceful face. Overcome with intense emotion, Marnie kissed her forehead and clicked the light off. Snuggling closer, Marnie quickly fell into a deep slumber. Marnie had completely pushed the conversation out of her mind until a few weeks later, when she received a letter in the mail from an attorney claiming to represent Mikhail, stating that Mikhail intended to file suit for a total of two million for, quote, unauthorized distribution of a film in which he was involved. In response, Marnie promptly contacted her attorney and forwarded the information to them. Her attorney called a few hours later and told Marnie that they could see no way that this suit was gonna stick. Marnie thanked them and told them to keep her updated. With that phone call, Marnie suppressed her worries and headed back to the studio where Nadia was filming for their new TV pilot. 
The story was about the struggles of a young ballet teacher who identifies as gay but works to define her place in an uber-conservative upscale school. Arriving at the studio, Marnie looked for Nadia on set, only to find that she was not there. If you want to find out what happens next, you gotta write a book. 